Hey everyone, are you ready to make some Instagram videos? Let's go start a new event. And here I'm just going to call it Kylie and Coco. And then I'm going to create two projects inside of this event so I can show you an example. The first one I'm going to set as a square video, just like you would normally see on Instagram. We're going to make that custom resolution and we're going to make it 1080 by 1080. We're going to create one more project and do the exact same thing except this time I'm going to name this one tall. I'm going to change the resolution, still custom, but it's going to be 1080 by 1350 this time. Okay, I have one clip that I'm going to use on both of the projects so you can see exactly what it looks like in each. We're going to start with the square and drag that clip down into the timeline. Now with my clip inside the square, you'll see the black bars on top and bottom. So what we actually have to do is we're going to have to stretch this image. We're going to scale it. Usually around 177% is going to be what you're going to want to see and you're only going to get what's in the center of the frame. So you may have to move your image left or right or stretch it to get exactly what you want into the frame. Most of the videos that you see on Instagram are also sped up quite a bit. So you're going to go ahead and play with the playback speed. I'm going and making mine as short as possible, about 20 seconds, just so you can see exactly what's going on within the clip. Now, because your clip is going to be so fast, if you left the sound in, it would probably not sound very good at all. So you'll probably want to mute or take out all the sound and add your own music later. Now that your clip is done and in a square format, you could totally post it to Instagram as is, but I want to show you one other thing that you can do to make your clip stand out on Instagram. Remember that tall project we created? It's time to fire it up. Let's go. This time, instead of a black box that is 1080 by 1080 in a perfect square, you're going to see a black box that is 1080 wide by 1350 tall. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and shorten my clip so it's around the same 20 second mark as the last one. And this time when you do the zooming or scaling, instead of 177%, you're going to do 225%. One helpful hint I have here is if you plan on doing a lot of vertical video, it might be easier for you to shoot in a vertical mode. That way you'll have to do less scaling. I'm going to go ahead and export both of these videos, both the square and the tall project, so you can see the difference between them. Now I'm going to go ahead and play back both videos on my phone. In the first example, what you're going to see is the square video. There's nothing wrong with this video. It's exactly what you would normally see on Instagram. But here you'll see, when I switch it to the tall version, why this would be preferable. If you're using the tall version of the video, it takes up more room on the screen, and therefore there's a higher likelihood that people will be able to see it, and hopefully they'll watch the whole thing. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you guys for watching very much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye!